Okay, so you've got Comcast email. When you try to open it up in Outlook, it keeps asking you for your password. And you're sure you're typing in the correct password. Now, the way to know you're typing in the correct password is to go over to the Comcast webmail and log into the website with your email address and your password. So that's the first things first, is make sure, make absolutely sure by logging in directly to the website that you are using the correct email address and password. So if you have checked that, but it's still, Outlook is still acting like it doesn't recognize your password and you're befuddled by this, there's something very important to learn here, and that is that Outlook is kind of stupid. It's not a very smart program. So all it knows is that it can't connect. So it just keeps prompting you for this. Enter your username and password. And even if we hit cancel here a bunch of times and go down and see what the send receive error is, it just says can't connect to the server. That's all it knows because Outlook is not very smart. What is happening here, and this is something that's it's not peculiar to Comcast. It's a trend now with webmail, especially free email from internet providers or even free email accounts like Gmail and, and stuff like that, is they've beefed up security settings for these third-party programs, uh, which Outlook is a third-party program, to connect to your email account. Uh, AOL has done this. Yahoo has done this. Comcast, in their own way, has done this. Most of the free email providers are moving this direction. So here's what's happening with this, this uh, setting with Comcast in particular. Let's close Outlook there. Let's open up this here. So what you need to do is you need to go to your Comcast webmail here. And then look on the upper right for a little gear icon that says settings. And when you click on that, it drops down this menu and choose email settings. Okay, now from the menu that shows up on the left here, choose security, and then you're gonna see this setting right here. This is Comcast as of 2022. Um, they, may, they, they, they may change how this is implemented, but right now this is where it is. Third-party access security. And if you look at the fine print of that, it's saying whether or not you want to allow access to your Comcast email, your Xfinity email, through third-party programs, and it even lists here, for example, Outlook, Apple Mail, Thunderbird, etc. Okay? By default, when they roll out this security setting, for most people, it's turned off. So you need to turn it on. There's no save button here at the, at the present iteration of this page. You just click it, and it automatically updates. Now watch this. We go, we haven't done anything else. We go into Outlook no longer asks for the password, and it's sending and receiving properly. Okay, so just one more time. Let's close that. We turn that off. We go back to Outlook. Boom, Outlook acts like it doesn't know what your password is. Don't let that throw you. Don't assume Outlook knows what it's talking about because most of the time it doesn't. It's not equipped to do error handling, let's say. It's just telling you it can't connect and that's it. So just hit cancel on that until you can close Outlook. Go into your Comcast webmail. We'll run through it one more time. Email, then the gear for settings and email settings. Then security and make sure third party access security is turned on and immediately Outlook will, assuming that you've got the right password stored in here, Outlook will start working again. So if you've had Comcast email in Outlook and just all of a sudden it stopped working like this and it starts asking for your password and you've checked all your settings and in all the settings uh, you know, for connecting to your email in Outlook and they all seem correct, that's the one setting that you can't set within Outlook. You have to go over to Comcast webmail to do it. So that's that.